Welcome to FreeCAD new session and in this session we will model this locating block in FreeCAD as you can see that I have already did it and I will show you from the scratch how you can do the same so let's start so as we can see that our dimension are in inches so as I have a set my dimension so I have to go edit in a preferences and then unit here I have a change my unit to the US customary and now I will create a new file and I will create a new body and I will create my sketch and I will go to the orthographic and then isometric now we will create our base profile on this exit plane and in first sketch we will sketch this profile and then we will extrude it the uh, one inch which is this one and then we will add up this cut here at these two locations and cut here and then slot so let's start so I will select this exit plane and now I will go to the tree view okay so my origin plane is off and now I will keep my this center at my origin here so I will create a circle circle and its diameter is a 3.38 so I will select this and I will give the diameter 3.38 inch and now this is a imaginary dimension so I will give it a construction and now I will draw the outer profile like this with the help of a polyline so I will select the polyline and I will create a profile like this like this So this is the rough profile now I will constrain it I will select this and I will give vertical constraint and I will make this also vertical and now I will make this and this tangent relation this and this also the tangent relation and now we will give the dimension so it is a point one so I will select this one and this point and I will give dimension 0.81 and I will make this point and this point as a vertical now total height is a 3.5 so I will make it symmetric first I will select this point and this point and my axis and now here is a conflict so I will select this 15 constraint and I will delete it now I will give total height 3.5 so I will give it 3.5 and it is a 4.12 so I will select this and I will give 4.12 and I will also make this two point symmetric so I will select this one and this one and my axis and here is a conflict and I would say delete now here is the dimension 0.81 plus 1.06 so I will select this and this and I will give dimension 1.06 plus 0 0.81 okay 
I will move it to the outside now angle we can see here 45 degree so I will select this and this and I will give the angular dimension 45 so our profile is fully constrained now we will come out of the sketch and we will go with the pad and pad dimension here is a uh, one inch so I will give here one inch and I will see here symmetric to the plane and I will say ok and now the next feature which will, will we make is the cut we will create a profile like this so I will select this face and I will say sketch now first I will project the edges which are required so I will select these edges and now I will create the line and then this line and I will join with this now I will remove the conflict I will say delete this line I will make horizontal and now I will draw one more line horizontal here and then I join with this and I join here now I will remove this constraint 10 I will say delete and now I will give the dimension so it is a point sorry it is a 1.38 so I will select this point and this point and I will give 1.38 and here is a 0.69 so I will select this and I will give 0.69 and position of this line is a 1.250 so I will select this point and our origin point and it is 1.250 divided by 2 and I will move it outside now we will draw the similar profile at this location so I will select polyline I will join with this like this and this then I select line I will draw a line from here and delete it now I will resolve the constraint and I will say delete and now I will draw one more line here and I will join here and I will close my profile now here is our profile so this point and this point have the vertical constraint and this point to this point dimension is a 1 1.250 1.250 and now this and this should be equal so here is our profile is fully constrained and I will close it and I will go for cut so for cut it is a 0.19 so 0.19 and I will say ok now I will select this pocket and go with the mirror and select reference and select this plane and I will say ok now we will make the cut here here is a rectangular cut so I will select this face and I will say sketch we will remove the material from here as well
but here I can see here this cut is within line or there is a material I am not sure because here in the isometric if you see here this edge is with this edge so for this for this I will collinear this with this I will delete this so this point 19 dimension is a incorrect so I will make this point in line and I will say constrain this point and this line and I will constrain it and now from here to here it should be 0 0.19 and now I will cut it and I will say extrude cut and here I will say through all so here we can see that this edge is matching with this so I think this 0.19 dimension is uh, incorrect because this edge dimension should also be included so this should be 0.19 plus 0 0.19 0 0.38 so that's how it will look so now we will move to our next feature so here we have to remove the material so for this I will select this face and I will say sketch and now I will project the edge I will select this one and this one and I will close the profile here and I will join with this and delete the constraint and I will close it and I will go with the extrude cut and simply I will say through all and now I will select this pocket and go with the mirror and I will select my reference and I will select this mid plane and I will say OK. Now we will refine the edge. We do not want edge like this. So I will go to the my pocket or simply if I go to the mirror and go to the refine and say true. Okay. So you can see that now it is perfectly as per our 3D now we will switch to the isometric and now we will make this two slot here and here so for this I will select this face and I will say create sketch now I will select the slot tool and I will draw the simple slot and I will project this edge and uh, I will select this point and this one and I will give the horizontal dimension 0 0.94 and 0 0.94 okay. and from this horizontal position we will project this bottom edge and I will select this one and this one and I will give 0.56 now the slot diameter is 0.44 so I will select this one and I will go with the diameter 0.44 so here is our sketch is fully constrained now I will close it and I will go with the cut 
and I will say simply through all and I will say ok and now I will go to the tree view select the pocket select the mirror and I will select my own reference so I will select this mid plane XY and I will say ok now we can see that uh, we have uh, perfectly modeled this locating V block so I will switch to the isometric and now I will go to the tree view and I will s give material to my part so I will give it uh, chrome so we have adapted all the dimensions of the locating V block and we have perfectly made this part in FreeCAD I hope you have liked this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel and also support me on coffee.com I will provide this uh, model and this to this drawing in my video description so any beginner user can practice it so this is all about this sessions how to model locating v block in FreeCAD thank you for watching